ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now in the studio. Richard, a, a rough start to a, a new month here on Wall Street. Scott, you're exactly right. Uh, down triple digits at several points during the morning. But uh, just by way of quick recap, <coughs> the month of March basically was a non-event, pretty much sideways. But for the first quarter of the year, yes, a quarter of the year is already gone. For the first quarter, most of the major indexes were up by roughly 4%. So we've certainly done worse. As far as today is concerned, nothing specific, but a lot of people are referring to what's called event risk. That event is the meeting of President Trump with the President of China. That will be Thursday and Friday of this week. So we always need an excuse for while the market's down. And let's see why it's down or how much it's down. The figures as of 12 o'clock noon, the Dow down 84 points, four tenths of 1%, at 20,579.10. That in volume of 338 million shares. And the NASDAQ also down decimal 41, 24 points, 5,887.38. That on volume of 607 million shares, and if both of those are down decimal four, guess what? The S&P down decimal 46, 11 points at 2,351.87. Well, if it looks to you as you're driving around that you're seeing more and more Teslas on the road, guess what? That's because there are more on the road. Tesla announced they have sold 25,000 vehicles during the first quarter of the year. That's a whopping 69% increase over the same quarter last year. 13,500 were the Model S, which is the traditional four-door sedan. 11,500, the Model X, like X-ray, that is the SUV. So certainly Tesla is operating on all cylinders. Scott, they do believe that they can deliver another 25,000 during the second quarter of this year. And they certainly have a lot of people intrigued, and they're selling a lot of vehicles. And a lot of people anxiously waiting for that uh, cheaper Model 3 to come out You're at some exactly point. Right. Yeah. Exactly right. You'll be back at 5 with the closing numbers. Yes, hopefully we can avoid that triple-digit loss. How's that? That sounds good. We'll see you then. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome.